I traced an extremely polluted river in Nepal and I was shocked to see what I found. One day, I was just looking at Google Earth and I found something strange. I found many patches of black color at various locations along the river bank in Nepal. I wondered what it was and went to see that location. When I reached there, I was shocked to see the vast quantity of this black substance just lying on the river bank and polluting the river. I found out that this black substance was rice husk ash thrown by the nearby industries as being discarded as valueless and a waste product. Then I looked further into the Google Earth and identified all the locations by tracing this river and what I found is a scene of disaster. I found 24 large patches of blackness on the banks in a small stretch of this river. This river is Sirsia River. It lies in Bara and Persa district in the flat area of Nepal. This Sirsia River flows pristine which origins from the start of the mountains of Nepal and continues crossing the border of Nepal to Bihar in India and ultimately reaches to Ganga River and finally to the Indian Ocean. This Sirsia River is completely black due to extreme pollution and has a strong, unbearable, pungent smell. There are several industries near this river that dump liquid and solid waste like this rice husk ash in the river making it a very polluted and a toxic environment. The rice husk is the outer covering of a grain of rice that is used as an energy source for heating boilers in industries. In Nepal, coal is imported from India and this rice husk is a cheap locally obtained energy source for industries for heating boilers. This rice husk ash is discarded as a waste product by industries without realizing the economic benefits that it can give. This rice husk ash is present in huge quantities as there is huge production of rice nearby these industries. Industries obtain this rice husk from the rice mills easily at a very cheap price. They use this husk as a heat source and this low density rice husk ashes is produced that is a headache for these industries to manage. They instead throw these husk ashes in the night time when no one is around in the shadow of the dark. It is illegal to dump this husk ash on the river banks but they still do so and are fined by the local administration if caught. The sad part is that this material is instead of valuable material that has many economic applications that I have explained in this video that you can check as well afterwards. This husk as has applications in value added products like cement, concrete, bricks, micro silica, water treatment and many others and is a best source of amorphous or powdered silica. Simply, if the carbon content can be kept low and the temperature of burning is controlled, ensuring uniform quality, then this husk as can be sold directly in the market at a very high rate. This rice husk as should ideally be utilized to generate revenue, but even if it is not utilized, it must be managed safely. The available option to manage this husk ashes apart from generating income is to fill it in low-lying areas and cover it with a layer of soil with water sprinkled and plantation down over it. But prior permission should be taken from the concerned authority or simply transport it to a dedicated landfill if it is present. This pollution is not just limited to this location. A similar condition of pollution exists in the world where rice, paddy and other grains production are high. This river only represents a scene that exists without the knowledge and economic application of these rice source ashes. Lands and rivers are being polluted with this ash all around the world. Understanding the value of this material will help us make this planet better and build a sustainable future for all of us. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.